Hey guys, I'm Rodney from 3GameMan.com and today I have something really extreme. This is the Corsair H110i GTX liquid CPU cooler. It comes with a 280mm radiator, two 140mm fans, flexible tubes, a great pump, and a copper water block. Plus, it has software so you can hook up to your computer system and monitor everything that's going on. And uh, it comes with a five-year warranty. It really couldn't come in a better looking, more informative box that has lots of pictures as well as features and specifications on it. it. Included is warranty information. Again, it comes with a five year warranty, a user's manual, piece of styrofoam, two 140 millimeter fans, all the materials for installing on AMD and Intel sockets, and the unit itself, note that they have plastic here on the water block. <whistles> Sexy. Oh, and they also include a USB cable, which will get connected directly into the motherboard, and this is for their Link software. Now, before I mount the fans to the radiator, let's go over the specs. These are 140 by 140 by 25 millimeters. The speed is 2,000 RPMs. The airflow is 104.65 CFMs and the noise level is 40 decibels. And the four pin fan lead comes with a flat, flexible lead, which is great because you can tuck it away. They include all the bolts for mounting the fans on the radiator, and to be honest, it's a personal preference how you set this up. Some people like to intake cool air from the outside, while others like to mount the fans like so and intake air from inside the case. That way, of course, you're exhausting all the warm air out of the case. There's advantages and disadvantages to both, but this is the way that Corsair recommends. The great thing about these all-in-one coolers is they are completely and entirely sealed, so you do not have to worry about leaks. And speaking of that, the connections to the radiator and to the pump and water block end are flawless, and you don't have to worry about it being ripped away. Now, the radiator itself is gorgeous looking. Actually, there's pieces of plastic on either side. You can swap them out. There's another piece of plastic on the water block as well. You can swap that out as well. Well, that's optional, of course. The aluminum radiator is 280 millimeters, just incredible. So that in itself will offer more performance over like, for example, a 120. And other smaller radiators that are out there, of course, the disadvantage is you need to find a case that this will fit in. These tubes are braided and fairly flexible overall. Not as flexible, though, as rubber. And look at this, a copper smooth, solid base that will make excellent contact between it and the CPU. Plus, they have thermal a compound already pre-applied, so this will take the guesswork out of having to apply it yourself. Now, there's a number of leads coming out of the water block. You've got a serial ATA power lead, the fan leads for both of the four pin fans, and this lead which gets connected into the three pin motherboard fan header. Okay, so let's have a closer look at the Corsair Link software. Yes, indeed, what you're staring at here is a picture of an empty case. So what's the good of that? Well, my friend, Right click over it and change the image to whatever you like. That's just too cool. At the top, you've got system, groups, graph, and options. If you missed it, no big deal. I'm going to be going back to it. Here at the top left, you've got the coolant temperature. This is not the CPU temperature, so don't freak out. And why would you? It's only 31 degrees Celsius and the system is in quiet mode. Okay, I'm going to skip ahead a bit here to the groups and go down to the temperature of the CPU. Again, this is in quiet mode and I have it overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz. I'm not going to get too much into my system configuration at this point, but needless to say, I am very impressed. Let's go back to system here. You've got all kinds of stuff here. You've got the uh, head unit LED, which shall go into detail now, why not? So the LED on the head unit can be changed to just about any color that you prefer, or you can turn it off. There's also a really cool temperature feature. You can set the color for a high temperature, or you can disable it if you want to. Let's just say that I want the high temperature LED to be red, which makes sense, right? And if I lower it to 30 C, just to show you, well, there you go. It will indicate that the system is really hot. That's cool. And also in here, you've got the pump speed, fan speeds, and other component temperatures 
and so on. Within groups, well, you've got the cooler temperature, you've got, you know, the motherboard, different groups for all of these different components. And if you want to do anything and configure any of these, what do you do? You click on it, you double click on it. See that? Configuration will come right up. Boom. And you can make all kinds of adjustments in here. Graphs, all the different components that are in the list, you can put in this graph. Options, well, you've got all kinds of different settings. You can have profiles. These are the devices, logging, and about. Now, some of you might be wondering what's the difference between this, the H110i GTX and the H110i GT. Well, the GTX is the latest cooler from Corsair, and the GTX is made by Acetec. The tubes come out of the top, and the radiator is a little bit smaller than the GT. The GT is made by Coolit. The tubes come out of the side, and the radiator is a little bit larger. Now there's no question, this is an awesome liquid CPU cooler, but is it worth the $150 that they're asking when you can get other AIOs on the market for sub $100? Well, what you're not getting from them is the performance that you're getting from this, and I think that in itself is enough to justify the cost. If you're overclocking, you need something that's going to perform, and this certainly does. And just to recap, this comes with a large 280 millimeter rad. Just make sure, of course, that you're getting a case that this is actually going to fit in, plus two 140 millimeter fans. You can add more braided tubes, a wonderful looking water block that has a copper base. There's nothing not to like about this AIO. Overall, without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. Well, that's it, but I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you think this and other videos that I produce are great, please like them and subscribe to the channel. Also, your comments are very welcome. And if you have any questions, let me know.